WordPress can translate a plethora of files. You can find all available file formats from this drop down list. Click on File menu, then Open File. Microsoft Word, Microsoft Rich Text File Formats, and Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, uh, HTML, uh, and uh, InDesign IDML files, and InDesign Legacy INX files, and uh, uh, SDL XLIF uh, files for SDL Studio and uh, and also uh, Trados tag, uh, tag Editor Bilingual Files TTX. This is a Word file and in English and you want to translate it using uh, WordFast. All you have to do is to simply drag and drop it into WordFast workspace. Let me show you. Drag it and then drop it uh, or alternatively uh, you can click on file menu click on file menu and then open file and then select it when you click on save uh, or you save the file you will notice another file has been created in the same directory and uh, with the same file name but with a different extension which is txml let me show you file save or control s from the keyboard yes the same file name and uh, in the same directory which is desktop and uh, the file format is txml this is the bilingual file you will continue working on from now on by simply clicking on it. That being said, once you're finished with adding your TM and setting the language bear, and of course you can add a term base if you want to, you simply click on the TXML file. You don't have to repeat the same steps in every translation session. Your file is now ready for workflow. Let me show you. Double click. You have two columns. One is dedicated for the source uh, text, and the other one is for the target text. Uh, this is where you're gonna type in your translation. And the source text is is protected against editing, so you, uh, which is a by default, so which is a good feature since it prevents you from accidentally modifying the source text. Uh, so you cannot cut it or best on it, but of course you can copy from it. Uh, you can search for terms that have been already translated in the translation memory and the feature for this is called TM lookup. You can access it in many ways. Uh, highlight the word you want to search, search for it and uh, right click and then TM lookup or Control shift T from the keyboard. Yeah, here it is. This is the source text in the translation memory that have been saved uh, previously. And this is the uh, the the segment ID and the the target text that has been translated and the TM name in case you have more than one TM and the username uh, the user who typed in the translation and the date and time and there are also many heads for this term there are three heads for it. Also, if you added the term base, you would notice some words uh, from the source text are highlighted, like this one. Uh, that means those have translations in the term base, because we have, uh, I have already added one. Yes, this one. Uh, if you hover over any, uh, you can view the translation. And there is a keyboard shortcut for it, uh, to bring in the, 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 the translated term, which is... Uh, Alt control and then use it with uh, right or left arrow then uh, then uh, down down arrow 